what's up welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today is a super fun and also like somber video not really somber but it's the very last throwback thursday tutorial of 2019 which is super nuts and i want you guys to know i do really want to make a bigger effort to bring back throwback thursday in the new year i know you guys love it so very much and i definitely want to try to do these more for you uh so i asked on twitter what you guys wanted to see for our last throwback thursday video of 2019 this palette my lord i'm telling you i think this might be the most loved palette since the beginning of palettes. Modern Renaissance had the most votes. I asked you guys to let me know what you wanted to see. Somebody suggested Modern Renaissance and Modern Renaissance had the most likes out of every tweet in the entire thread. So I decided to go ahead and go with this because clearly a lot of you still want to see a look with it. I'm shocked that this was it, but it's like the palette that won't die. People love it and I love it too. It is a great palette. So today I wanted to kind of challenge myself a little bit to not go so smoky. <laughs> I wanted to do a sweater weather inspired makeup look something soft and just beautiful I'm also kind of inspired by Dominique cosmetics collection I don't have it I love the just the lightness of it when I've seen photos online um, it's a collection I actually still kind of really want is it still available I might order it I loved how that looked it looks so pretty and I just love the idea of like soft sweater weather makeup and like leave it to the community to make sweater weather makeup like a thing like <laughs> What the fuck is that? But whatever. So I'm in my cozy little sweater from Amazon today. And yeah, we're gonna do something soft and a little more mild, which is really unique for me. I don't do that a lot. So let's get started. So first I wanna jump into the shade Warm Taupe. This is my Sigma E35 brush. And I wanna softly blend this through the crease. Even that is a little darker than what I wanted. I'm trying to keep this really, really soft. Step out of my comfort zone because I just lit, like smoky is my comfort zone. I'm gonna try and blend this out like crazy because I do not want it so loud. I think it actually might be okay if I keep it to this level of smoky. I'm just trying to avoid my traditional super smoky eyes. I think it's crazy that like doing a soft look is so outside my comfort zone, but it is. I almost just feel like they're always incomplete if I'm not smoking them up, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's keep it like that. Let's keep it a little more mild. Okay, but if I could just add just a little, oh, make sure it's nice and blended and just soft. Is that soft? That's soft for me, so we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Next, I want to go into the shade Tempera right up here. This is a big fluffy brush, Sigma E50 brush, and I want to pop that on the brow bone and blend that into our crease color, add to the softness. I mean, this is an amazing palette. It really is great. <laughs> I feel like it's just reliable. You know you have what you need in a pinch. I guess it's really no surprise that it was the most requested, and I've gotten a lot of use out of mine. Like, all of mine are dipping. It might be hard to see on camera, but like, they are gonna hit pan any day now. On the lid, I really want to use this Buon, Buon Fresco? Buon, Buon Fresco? God, I'm horrible at words. This dusty lavender color. <laughs> I think this is like my least used shade in this whole palette, but I want to make sure it pops just a little bit. So I want to first prep my lid with the Huda Beauty Matte in Metal Melted Shadows. This specific one is called Bubble Bath, and I want to use the matte shade here. It's kind of like a light beigey, so I'm hoping it doesn't make the shade too bold, but I just wanted to make sure it, it stands out a little bit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna pop this on the lid. I'm hoping I can make it a little more subtle of a cut crease. I don't want it to be too bold. I haven't really used the matte metal shades from Huda Beauty very often, but they look really pretty. That is a gorgeous little color there. And I want it to dry down just a bit so it's not too, 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 too wet when we put it on top. And I'm gonna take the Buon Fresco shade and pop that on top. Ooh, that got a bit darker than I was expecting. No matter. And then on the inner corner, I wanna take a little little of Vermeer, kind of like a satiny shade, and pop that right in there and marry it into that beautiful color there, the dusty lavender. Now I'm actually trying to cover up that Vermeer a little bit. They didn't go as well together as I was hoping. Oh no. Okay, I went ahead and I just took a little cloth and I removed as much Vermeer as I could. They weren't, they just weren't going together very well. They weren't blending in together softly. So I would just stick with Buen Fresco all over the lid and maybe just save Vermeer for the inner corners, which we might do in a minute. Okay, so let me now try to do this <laughs> the real way I want to, now that we have our base set. Yeah, they just weren't, they weren't uh, blending together. 
together very easily. And I honestly just think it's because of this Huda Beauty base that I used, which I like. I love how it's making this shade pop a little bit more than what I think it would have in the pan. Just, you know, place just dryly on top of my lid. Now let's take some of that Vermeer color on just a little, little detail brush and pop that on the inner corner. That's all I should have done, honestly, yeah. There she blows. Beautiful! So though this isn't super soft, I do really want a bold liquid liner. I think it would look nice with the softness of the eyeshadow. I would love a bold statement just to be the eyeliner. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use ColourPop's liquid liner in the shade black, and I'll zoom you guys through this because it takes me forever and it's really boring and I'm really slow. <laughs> Keeping up with our lavender theme, I'm gonna use the cream gel liner from ColourPop in the shade Crybaby. My my nickety name. <laughs> oh my god, I cry at a drop of a hat like anybody else. I really am a crybaby. And I'm gonna tight line with this, open and brighten those eyes up. And then I think I wanna try that same Buon Fresco shade on the lower lash line. Normally I do a smoky brown down there, but I don't want it to be too bold. I want it to just kind of look soft. Clearly, oh my god, how many times have I said soft in this video? I'm so sorry. That must be so annoying. Can I tell you guys, Alok's out of town right now for work. He comes back tomorrow, but first of all, I hate when he goes out of town. It's like devastating to me. Obviously, I just miss him. And during Seamus, it's super hard because I already don't see him a lot because I'm editing or I'm filming all night long. But he's been out of town every other week for like the past few months since actually we got back from our honeymoon. It's been crazy. He's been working at a state like literally every other week. It's been so hard. But one part that I selfishly have learned to love during these past few months with him being out of town is when he's gone is basically there's like seven movies I watch on repeat always. And he's so sick of them and he never wants to watch them with me anymore. And those movies are Breakfast at Tiffany's, Black Swan, Devil Wears Prada, which he actually does love, not love, but he will tolerate Devil Wears Prada, Bride Wars, like basically any kind of girly, sometimes rom-com story possible. So last night while I was up editing so many videos, let's move on to mascara while I'm chatting away. Actually, let me curl my lashes first. So anyway, I was up till like 4 a.m. editing Seamus videos last night and I was like, oh my God, let me have the most iconic movie marathon of every movie that I ever want to watch that he won't let me watch in a row. <laughs> like every time we watch Breakfast at Tiffany's, we'll have to watch like The Avengers or something like that, which I hate. <laughs> I'm not into that shit. I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's. I watched Black Swan. I watched Devil Wears Prada. What else did I watch? I just had the best movie marathon of my life. With my cats, I had all three cats snuggled up in my bed. We were watching the movies. I was editing. It was one of the best nights I've ever had. And I feel so selfish. <laughs> And so horrible saying that as a new wife, being like, oh, it was so great for him not to be here. But it was so great. I enjoyed myself so much. So I'm glad, even though I only just figured out to do this last night, I'm glad I now have a little plan for when he's out of town. I'm just gonna watch all the movies he can't stand all night long. And it's gonna be the best. <laughs> So now I'm gonna throw on my mascara. I think I'm gonna use Lancome Hypnos. I was gonna do falsies, but I'm kinda like, let's keep it soft and mild. So I'm gonna throw this on and we'll be right back to finish off the face. I know this is simple. It might be boring for you guys, but I love this makeup. It's just so lovely, isn't it? It's just soft and it's lovely and it takes no time at all. It's actually fantastic. Now, what are we gonna do for blush? I wanna keep up this really soft momentum. I already have a little bit of my Maybelline. Where is it? Guys, my life is in shambles <laughs> from Seamus. I have a little bit, oh here it is, of my Maybelline City Bronzer on. You guys know this has been my jizzity j- Whoa, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Mother of God. Oh my God, I'm going to hell in a handbasket. Where's my blush? I want to use my Sigma blush palette. Get a blush brush. And I just want to take the softest amount of Mod Mauve. This one right here ever so lightly. Don't want anything too bold. Just add a little color to them cheeks. You guys, Hulu is down today and I'm pissed. I'm gonna have to rewatch all the movies I watched last night while I'm editing today because I'm on a Project Runway binge. That's too bold, too much. Just taking my powder brush. This is the Sigma F30. Just want that to be a little softer. There we go. Guys, I'm so excited for Saturday. It is my birthday brunch with my family and I am so excited. My birthday's not till Monday, but I'm going to brunch 
brunch at my favorite restaurant in the world. Well, my favorite brunch spot in Philly. It's called Harp and Crown and it is amazing. It is so good. The best peach bellinis in the world. Oh my God, I can't wait. And then for highlighter, I dug up this little beauty from ColourPop. This is, why does it just say ColourPop highlighter? It literally just says ColourPop highlighter on the back. There's not a shade name. Does it come, will it come out? Oh, there we go. Touche. Huh. I thought it would be perfect and I don't know that you'll be able to tell on camera, but it has little quilting shapes. Like it looks soft, like a little sweater, like sweater weather. I love these off the shoulder sweaters, but, but when you're moving and trying to function, it is like the worst. They just like ride up till they're like around your neck all awkwardly. Okay, so I'm taking this with my F04 contour brush from Sigma, but it'll do. And I specifically wanted nothing really high shine, not really highly metallic, just like that. Really, really soft and simple. I don't even want to put on a lot, just the simplest little glow. Oh, this is beautiful. Do they still sell this? Well, if not, it's the perfect place for it in this video, in a throwback Thursday. You guys can bust this baby out again. Oh, this is gorgeous. I need to use this more. So the video for my last day of Seamus, I'm really excited about. It's kind of like a full face tutorial, except it's makeup I need to stop neglecting in 2000. 2020 or makeup I want to really use in 2020. I've just been going through my collection and I'm like, man, I need to stop buying stuff and I need to start using it more. So it's kind of like a shop my stash, kind of like a throwback Thursday, but it's really products I want to focus on in the new year a little bit more. I'm excited about it. I hope it's not too boring. I never know how to end Seamus. I just don't. <laughs> and then for the lips, keeping with the soft theme, I kind of want to do a mix. I don't want anything too pale. I think I'm going to do NYX lingerie in the shade push up and then I might layer core it in the middle. Wow, it really is like lingerie <laughs> names. So let's start with push up. And it's a, almost a little too bright, so I'm glad we're gonna mix in a uh, corset. So let me layer that on top. Much better. That's pretty. This is such a different look for me, and I love it because I think it is very cool toned. It's bold yet subtle. I'm really digging it. You guys, this is our last Throwback Thursday look for 2019 using Modern Renaissance. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I really want to work on bringing this back into the new year heavily, this little video series. I think it is a good thing to get our old stuff out and reuse it. I started doing Throwback Thursdays like five or six years ago, and then lately I think everyone does like shop my stash, but I kind of like to think like I started started this thing with Throwback Thursday. So though I don't call it shop my stash, I think that's essentially what I'm doing with these videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what our first Throwback Thursday palette should be of 2020. I am so excited. Just so you guys know, uh, the week after Seamus, I will be taking off as like a little <laughs> vacay. I have to get my house back in order because it's been so neglected throughout this month. I need to give my brushes a deep clean. Um, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that now. So I won't have a Throwback Thursday up the first Thursday after the new year, but but uh, hopefully afterwards. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.